when is azithromycin the answer on USMLE? There are six super high yield use cases and I'm going to give you the exact vignettes so you never miss these questions on your exam. The first use case is outpatient community acquired pneumonia. They will give you a young healthy patient who comes in with cough, fever and bilateral patchy infiltrates on chest x-ray. That's walking pneumonia and azithromycin is first line because it covers all atypical organisms like mycoplasma, chlamydia pneumonia and legionella. But some students will say what about amoxicillin? The issue with amoxicillin alone is that it misses the atypicals so for healthy outpatients, azithromycin wins. Second use case is chlamydia trachomatis. They'll give you a sexually active patient who comes in with dysuria and mucopurulent discharge and the NART is positive for chlamydia. Azithromycin, one gram single dose, here is your answer. Some students again, they will say, can I use doxycycline? And yes, it works, but it's seven days of twice daily dosing with doxycycline versus azithromycin, which is only a one dose. So that's why azithromycin is preferred over doxycycline. Third use case is pertussis. They'll give you a patient with weeks of paroxysmal coughing followed by that inspiratory whoop or post -tussis vomiting that's whooping cough and azithromycin here is first line for treatment and prophylaxis of close contacts. Now treatment doesn't actually shorten the illness here much but we still give it because it stops transmission. Fourth use case is MAC prophylaxis in AIDS. They'll give you an HIV patient with CD4 count of below 50 and you need to prevent mycobacterium AVM complex. Azithromycin 1200 mg weekly here will be the answer. Fifth use case is traveler's diarrhea. They'll give you a patient who just returned from Southeast Asia with acute watery diarrhea. Azithromycin is now preferred over ciprofloxacin here because the Pyelobacter resistance to fluoroquinolones has gotten really high in that region. Six use case is covering chlamydia when treating gonorrhea. They'll give you a patient with gonorrhea and you treat with ceftriaxone IgM for gonorrhea, but you also need to add azithromycin because chlamydia co-infection is extremely common with gonorrhea. Now many students will say, but the chlamydia test was negative when the patient tested positive for gonorrhea. It doesn't matter. You still treat empirically because false negatives happen often.